Hello everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Ghost Wolf Alpha, back again with another stream tonight. I hope you're all doing good tonight, chat. If not, I hope the stream helps cheer you up a little bit. Today is Wednesday, September 11th of 2024. Now, two things off. One, one, I decided to change, as you can see by the category, I decided to change things up instead of having Battletech Advanced Universe, decided with Star Trek Online. That, the reason why is, should, and that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is, the reason why is because, A, I wanted to get more stuff taken care of in, in BTAU before we, before I could show off, like, get more better stuff in, in general for the, for one, for one thing, and get another playthrough set up for, for later, and another, it's my stream, I do what I want. <laughs> anyway, where we last left off in Star Trek Online, the Tox Utat was basically taken by the Tholians, and we we're giving chase to them. Now, let's get started, shall we, everyone? All right. Also, let me get some music going. Okay, let's go with now. Do do do. Nineties metal. Now, sec computer having causing some issues. One second, everyone. By the way, when I mean second computer, I mean it is the computer which I keep an eye on chat and everything. Alright. Let's begin Stormbound, then. Actually, no. No, not, not feeling 90s metal. Let's go with 80s hard rock instead. Oh, Holy Diver. Nice. Good to see you again. Thank you for responding to my message so quickly. The Tholians have the quantum phase inhibitor. I've tracked their ship to this system, and I'm detecting some telltale quantum fluctuations within the star. They're trying to use the device. We need to stop them and recover it. First, however, we need to help the Nakul. At this point in their history, they're not prepared to repel a Tholian attack. Agreed. Set a course for the lead Tholian vessel, then. Not cooler hailing us, sir. Shall I put them on the main viewer uh, view screen? Okay. Unidentified vessel. You have entered our space without authorization. If you are an ally of the Tholians, leave now. We have done nothing to provoke their attacks, but we will defend ourselves. We will render any assistance we can. What do you need? Thank you. My people have few warships. Any assistance you could provide against the Tholians would be appreciated. Consider it done. Ah, put it just. Yes, they still a device from us that interferes, interferes with the fusion process in the in the sun. So this is your fault? Why would you make such a terrible thing? You caused this problem. I expect you to fix it, or we will hold you and your people responsible for the consequences. Cal Dano created the device of the future. The Tholians stole it from it. We're just trying to set things right. I should have never made that device. I was only focused on the idea, on whether it was possible. I didn't stop to think of all the harm it could do in the wrong hands. 
We have to stop the Tholians before they shut down the star's fusion. If that happens, the effect on this system will be devastating. The Nakul will lose their home, and life will probably never develop here again. Helm laying the course for the star full impulse. The lead Tholian ship has the quantum phase inhibitor. They're going to use it on the star. We have to stop them. Board that vessel and get it back. Disabled and assessors confirmed that the Toxotot is aboard. We can't get a lock on it though. Too much interference. Recommend we send an away team in a shell to board the ship and retrieve the device. Signal Caldano to join us in the shell bay and prepare to launch a shuttle. We've docked with the Tholian ship. The good news is that my scans indicate the quantum phase inhibitor is on the bridge. All we need to do is go get it. The bad news is that the Tholians know we're here. They're not going to give up without a fight. Understood. We're ready. The Tholians come from an environment that is extremely hazardous to most humanoids. You and your team will need environment suits to survive. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Luckily, I got them. Not the light. <laughs> oh, okay. Tholians, just as xenophobic and opportunistic in your time as mine. In case you're wondering what the suit is, it's the torchbearer. It's the Torchbearer Environmental Suit Module. I would have the armor on, but it would interfere with the set I have right now. We have to be getting closer to the Tox Utat. Stay alert. Good part about this. In the form of I can summon help, basically. The bridge should be just ahead. Vision. 
I wouldn't say visionary if I were you. Get here to stop us. Okay, drop the field, get the quantum phase inhibitor, got it. Finally, we have the quantum phase inhibitor. I brought this device through time to hide it from the Vorgons, but I never thought the Tholians would steal it. A lot of now noise from where? Well, we say from both of them. Sorry, I'm muting the music. Oh, noise from game? Oh, phaser fire. <laughs> okay, sorry. I had to mute the music real quick because I thought it was something on my end. That was some big that was causing it. Anyway, beam us to the shuttle and launch immediately. Okay, let's get to the ship. Now this will help cool me down. <laughs> In case you're wondering, it's just simply sparkling water. Strawberry flavored. Set a course for the Ryza system. Okay, opening a temporal portal to the 22nd century. It's it's sparkling water, not alcohol. I know better than to drink and fly. That's why they That's why they forbid me to do that again and because of all those laws. Dang, I hated I liked doing the trench run in the ESD. <laughs> Oh, before they got the weather stuff installed. Ryza, early 22nd century. Even the tourists won't be in this region for a few years yet. No one will be looking for the quantum phase inhibitor here. Not now, anyway. Let's try that cave up ahead. It looks like a good spot. Okay, let's go there. Wow, rain on Ryza. I guess they haven't installed the weather control systems yet. No, they haven't. We have to hide the device very well. I can't afford to let it fall into the wrong hands again, and the Vorgons are very persistent. Let's see, is this a good spot? No. Nope. It's a lot of obvious. Anyone find it there? That's better, but I still think it will be too easy to find. How about here? That's it. Someone will find it in a few hundred years, but that's a different story for a different captain. Let's get back to your time. We need to check on the Nakul. Okay, let's beam up. Couldn't you have fixed the star before we left? Setting course for 2014. We need to get back to the Nakul. So we have arrived in the Nakul system. In the, in the present, Caldown has launched a ship. The Tholians are hailing us. On screen. Return the talks with Tap, and we will let you live. We no longer have the device. We've hidden it where you will never find it.
Thomas Caldano. This is Captain Walker of the USS Pasta. We are responding to a temporal distress call. Do you require assistance? Unable to stop the Tholians, but we were able to retrieve the Toxotod and hide it away where no one could find it. I'm sure that will be a great comfort to our citizens as they freeze to death. We'll do whatever we can to assist you. You have done quite enough. Leave us alone. Malcontents and Tholians. The whole lot of you can fall into a black hole. Don't go. We have to figure out how to save our people. And then we'll take steps to protect ourselves. Time is a weapon, and it will never be turned against us again. All right, let us know if you change your mind and want our help. This is Captain Benjamin Walker of the USS Postdoc. I'm responding to an emergency temporal transmission from these space-time coordinates, but we are no longer detecting the source of these transmissions. Did you lose a time traveler? Yes, Caldano's ship was damaged and he fell through a temporal portal. I think you better come aboard while we resolve this. Prepare for transport. Alright. I'll be him over. Do 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 do. Greetings. It's nice to see you again. Again? We've never met before. Not that you remember. We need to scan the continuum for Caldano. Would you care to assist me? Of course. Ah, there we go. Were you able to locate Caldano? Yeah, his ship's in the 22nd century, but his re but these readings are strange. Enter the temporal coordinates into the transporter. Okay. He's dead. Yeah, 21 something or another. I can't remember what episode of. And also, I can't remember what episode of Star Trek Enterprise it was. In case you're wondering, it's. I could just show you the ship. Luckily, I have it. Um. Yeah, it's this one, the NX class. This, this one in particular. All right. What happened with Caldano? He's... he's dead. It looks like he's been dead for centuries. No, this was meant to happen. Caldano went further back into the past than you knew. The NX-01 Enterprise, captained by Jonathan Archer, found his ship in the 22nd century, and his chief engineer activated Caldano's emergency temporal circuit, which returned the ship to its last known time, this one. But by the time that happened, Caldano had been dead for centuries. The Tox Utan is safe. 
It was found in the mid-24th century by Captain Jean-Luc Picard, who destroyed it before it could be used to harm others. And they're not cool, is there, is there anything we could do for them? Altering the past causes ripples. The effects move through time, shifting everything they touch, and it may take eons for all of them to be seen. The Nakul will survive, although their homeworld will be lost. They will become time travelers themselves, and their actions in the Temporal Cold War shape the galaxy you now know. There are some things you shouldn't change, that you can't change. Temporal Cold War? You could check Captain Archer's old logs for more information, but you will know all about it soon enough. You are entering a dangerous era in history. Time travel like warp drive before it will radically change your society. I'll see you again. We have a lot to do. Farewell, Captain, and thank you. Okay, are you ready to be back? Yes, I'm ready to be back. Damn. He's dead. <laughs> Caldano, that is. This is a sad day for the Federation. We failed to save the Nakul system. And our friend from the future, Caldano, is dead. I know you did everything you could. Sometimes, especially when we venture into time travel, things must play out a certain way. So, at least the timeline has been preserved. <laughs> Captain Picard can now find the Tox Uthot on Risa in the 24th century. Still, let us mourn for Cal Dano and the Nakul people. Just collect a random thing here. And now it changes here. Now, before we go... We have been contacted by the Federation from the 29th century. Their Temporal Integrity Commission is charged with protecting the timeline from factions who might want to change history. Considering our recent experiences, we feel the need to better understand the rules of time travel. However, it's important we don't know too much about the future, so we have decided to designate one representative to learn what we need to know. Given your record, you were the logical choice. You were to rendezvous with the USS Postok. Her captain will give you a more thorough briefing upon arrival. All right. Before we continue, well, um, we're, I'm going into here real quick. Now, once we get done with Temporal Front here, we're going to be doing a little side quest. And in case you're wondering what side quest it is, it is going to be Spectres. This one in particular. The... Um, you say this this mission in particular chain um bus chain. Okay, let's transwarp to the Delta Quadrant. And let's begin time and tide. Report to the USS Postoc. Ah, hello again, Captain Walker. <laughs> of course. It's a pleasure to see you again. I'm glad you were selected as your time's representative. I can't imagine a better selection. Of course, I already knew you were going to be chosen but that doesn't change my appreciation. Your recent experiences with time travel have begun a new phase of development, and a perilous one at that. Understanding the rules of time travel is of vital importance. Yeah, as a temporal agent, I know that all too well. But remind my crew about the Temporal Prime Directive. Starfleet personnel are strictly forbidden from directly interfering with historical events and are required to maintain the timeline when possible. We're also restricted from revealing too much about the future. These principles have served Starfleet well. Now that the time travel genie is out of the bottle, it'll be hard to get it back in. The tech will spread through the galaxy and species after species will learn the secrets of time. Yeah, I've seen that firsthand several times. Oh, 
uh, of course, voice acting fails. Today you'll be going to the signing of the Temporal Accords. It's an, honor, it's an honor you've earned as an agent, and I think it's important you see for yourself what the work of the Alliance will lead to, and how important it is to, the fu to future civilizations. Well, thank you. It's an honor. Are you ready to visit the future? Yeah, take me to the future. Hypothetically speaking, if someone were to send a lot of guidelines of de de technologies back in time to assure leaps of... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's basically not good. You get a paradox. I forgot what the name of it is, though. Here we are. Since you're from the past, I'll be your chaperone during the event. Hopefully protecting you from any... temporal incidents. Purely procedural, of course. You've already demonstrated your ability to remain silent about things you aren't supposed to know. Alrighty then. Welcome, gentle being, to the signing of the Temporal Accords. Your biosigns aren't listed on our register today. I'll need to... wait. I know you. I wrote a paper about you in classical history class at the Academy. I must say, you look much younger than your hollow images. Wait, what year did you come from? Uh, 2410? Oh, that explains why you look so young. Well, you sure have an eventful future ahead of you. <clears throat> Forget I said that. I'm not supposed to say things like that. To be honest, I'm still getting used to the new temporal regulations. They can be a little confusing. Anyway, the TIC crews are scrubbing the hall for anything that might cause a paradox if visitors from the past, like yourself, encounter them. It will be just a few moments. Very well. Perhaps you would like to chat with some of our other guests here in the lobby. I believe they have all been cleared for trans-temporal interactions. I'm sure you'll have plenty to talk about. Indeed, thank you. Hey, it's Philip Cray! <laughs> Greetings, friend. How may I help you? Um... You don't recognize me? Pretty certain we haven't met until just now. Not yet, at least. I just graduated from the Academy as a Temporal Agent. That being said, it's quite <laughs> possible that we will meet... Yeah, this is a little weird. Well, my future. Tell you what, I'll try to act surprised when it happens. Uh, so why are you here? I'm just curious. Same reason as you, I'll imagine. To witness the signing of the Temporal Accords. Usually, temporal agents watch holo recordings of the event, but the three of us were given special dispensation to come and view the accords personally. Perks for graduating at the top of the class, I suppose. Okay, that's all for now. Oh, protester. The Nakul are here to protest the signing of these unlawful biased accords. Why? The Tholians ravaged our homeworld thanks to the Federation's ineptitude. In one dark moment, my people were scattered throughout the stars. All we were, our history, our way of life, was nearly lost. And when we needed the Federation the most, we were denied. Terrorists, they called us. Criminals, the dregs of the galaxy. These words, these deeds will never be forgotten or forgiven. Not sure what the tragedy of the past has to do with today's events. Today, the Federation and their lackeys come to tell the galaxy which timeline is best and what they'll do to keep it that way. But who are they to dictate such terms? To tell us that their history is more important than ours? Okay, so you would change the past despite the risks. You could even undo your own existence. My existence? My existence has been nothing but hardship and pain. The life of an exile. 
I'd gladly sacrifice it to restore my homeworld and prevent the mass exodus of my people. Don't tell me you wouldn't do the same were our places reversed. I'd resist the temptation. Too much could go wrong with too wrong to risk it. Attention all guests. The main hall is now open. Please make your way to your seats. Guessing go this way. Talk to the Master's Ceremonies. Well, well, one of our very special guests. It is so nice to meet you. I am Wixit, your humble Master of Ceremonies for this historic event. Quite an honor, wouldn't you say? So exciting! This ceremony is about to begin, so you should find your seat. But I'd love to chat with you after the signing. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Speak with the Cardassian Observer? I must say, I am privileged to witness this historic event. Truly it is a singular honor. I'm humbled, as I'm sure you are as well. Indeed, we'll be seeing history in the making. Does India no stranger to temporal affairs? The tragic conflict with Earth oh, in the a different, second century and our manipulation by the fear builders are matters of deep shame for us all. We support the Accords with the hope that they will prevent such tragedies from this day forth. I think you got the wrong Zindi here, everyone, but... Alright, a worthy goal. Okay, let's talk to the Tholian Ambassador. The Tholian Assembly has decided to support the Accords. We are concerned that a rogue individual or species could disrupt our development. The Accords do not go far enough. We want to end all time travel for any reason. We will continue to lobby for change aggressively. Should the Union fail to preserve the timeline, the Assembly will succeed by any means necessary. That is all. Oh, it must be your friendly nature that got you selected as ambassador. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's talk with Romulan. Jolan True, you are from the past. From before the time the Romulans joined the Federation, I'll wager. How strange all of this must be for you. The entire galaxy unites in preserving the timeline. This is truly a momentous day for all. Indeed it is. I am honored by the Founders and pleased to observe this most historic event. Although the Dominion was not greatly affected by the development of time travel, we have an interest in safeguarding the time stream. That's good to hear. Let's head on over this way. Now uh, let's talk to the Nakul representative. The Nakul are not here to sign these accords. We have already been victims of time-traveling aliens. But somehow this incursion into the timeline has been overlooked. Perhaps because of its importance to the founding of the Galactic Union. We proposed an amendment to restore our home world in the timeline, but it was rejected. <sighs> Therefore, we are here, with all eyes of the galaxy upon us, to point out the hypocrisy and unlawfulness of these accords. I see. Okay. Federation Ambassador? Hmm. Your uniform. Wait, what? Twenty-fifth <laughs> century, correct? You're definitely a visitor from the past, and an honored one at that. Welcome to the twenty-eighth century. I hope you'll enjoy seeing what your work and sacrifice has wrought. Thanks for the honor. Let's talk with the Lucari Ambassador. Greetings. Uh, pardon me for saying so, but you look very familiar. Have we met before? Wait, I remember you from my history studies. You saved our home world. There's a statue in your honor in the capital city on Lucari Wait, what? Prime. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wait! That, that's already happened for you, right? Yeah? <sighs> oh, good. Woo! <laughs> That'd be just my luck to cause a paradox here, today! <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, that would be a little awkward, yes. <laughs> Delegates and honored guests, your attention, please. The signing ceremony is about to begin. I want to talk... take your seats. I want to talk to the cooperative observer and then... The boards have a checkered past when it comes to time travel. Particularly where the Federation is concerned. Thankfully, we've had the chance to make amends. The cooperative is proud to be a part of today's proceedings. As am I. It's quite an honor. And let's go take a seat. Representatives from dozens of species have gathered to witness this historic event. It looks like they are getting ready to begin the formal signing. Of course, this is largely ceremonial. The negotiation... Wait! There is some kind of disturb... This oppression will not stand. The time stream shall be free. We will liberate the galaxy from the tyranny of the Temporal Accords. We shall wipe the stain of the Federation from history. Quick, get the delegates to safety. The Krenim are taking the delegates hostage. Yeah, good thing we travel armed. The Krenim have grabbed the delegates and are holding them hostage in some nearby offices. This is damn peculiar. We're facing a major temporal flux here. The hostiles have neutralized embassy security, but it looks like they weren't expecting us to be here. It's up to us to rescue the delegates. Yeah, let's go. Watch out! More Krenum beaming in! More Krenum! Neutralize them as quickly as possible! We need to save those delegates! Come out! I want the Krenum! Fine! Uh, no, it doesn't. Hostage in the embassy offices. Please, anyone, help! The Krenum are holding us hostage, requesting immediate assistance. I'm working on it. Hang on, we're on our way. Cooperate, and you won't be home. Resist, and your safety cannot be guaranteed. I thought my life path was at an end. My thanks for proving me wrong. You're welcome. Now get out. Get out of here. To be safe. <laughs> It was a good day to die for the Krenum. Well said, Ambassador Kapla. world and now you saved me I'm beginning to like you 
The feeling's mutual, Ambassador. Stay safe. Shall live to serve the founders another day. My thanks to you, of course. You're, you're welcome. This wasn't supposed to happen. History says the accords were signed and there was no mention of an attack. Okay, we should return to our ship so you could get help with defensive efforts. Yeah, let's get out of here. See if we can see if we can do some help out out there. Ow. Sorry, my neck. My neck popped. This is a good thing, by the way. Look like Krenim ships. And they're attacking in force. We gotta stop it before they disrupt the timeline any further. Agreed. This conference will not continue. I won't abide it. All ships fire at will. Leave no survivors. I recognize that ship. tied up fighting the Krenim. We can't afford to lose that array. It monitors the time stream for incursions. If it were damaged, people could travel into the past without being detected. I'm curious. The Krenim and Nakul vessels have started fighting each other in the confusion. Let's make the most of that, shall we? Understood. Set an Helm set an intercept, intercept course. Bleh. Where? It's over there. Baser call. Come on.
little about him from my briefing on your timeline. He was a Krenum researcher on the Anorax Timeship Project, if memory serves. Yeah, he helped us with the Ico I guess the Iconians. I thought as much. Something must have disturbed the timeline. I'm afraid you will need to return to your own time to investigate. I'll accompany you, but I can't interact with anybody from your time. I'll open a portal when you're ready. Are right. you ready now? Yeah, we're ready, Captain. Engage. Okay, we're gonna have to get Noi again. <laughs> Hopefully, we can stop him. <laughs> Highly doubt it. You are cleared for docking. Welcome back to Kiana. We hadn't expected to see you again so soon. To what do we owe the pleasure? I have some questions about Noi. Noi? Well, he's been working on some secret project of late. To be honest, he's been more than a little hostile. And that's saying something for Noi. I was about to check in with him. If you would like to accompany me. Yeah, Supervisor? Uh, sorry. Yon decided to creep up when I was talking. <laughs> Oh, it's you. I thought I'd seen the last of you after you flew off to your great victory over the Iconians. Well, what do you want? I'm very busy. What are you working on? Come now, you can read, can't you? Access my latest report to command if you want to know what I'm working on. Feel free to waste the time of the charming bureaucrat standing next to you, but I'll thank you to stop wasting mine. Now, if this interrogation is over, I've more important matters to attend to. Good day. Okay, I was just... <sighs> Rude. Well, like I said, more than a little hostile. He's been like this for some time now, and no one's sure why. Oh, uh, we have a reason to believe he may be plotting treason. Would it be possible to see what he's working on? Treason? Noi? I mean... Sure, he's been difficult to work with, but... Oh, I hope you're wrong. Noi has top-level access to everything we're working on here. I don't need to tell you how much damage that could do in the wrong hands. Let me call up his files. Thank you, Supervisor. Hmm. He was working on the Anorax. Wait a minute. It looks like he was accessing the launch protocols and docking clamp. That's not good. Um, bomb. Ah, I see you found my farewell gift, Trala. I'm so glad. As for you, I'm taking command of the Anorax now. I can see that bothers you greatly. So will the numerous bombs I've left behind. Get back. No. Take care of bombs first. There we go. Okay, let's revive Trala. Noi, 
stole the Anaverus? I can't believe it. How could he do such a thing? What drove him to betray us like this? Yeah, without me bombs. Yeah, I agree. Yes, I agree. <laughs> oh, maybe there's a clue in his personal logs. There's only one way to find out. Computer, bring up the research notes and personal logs of researcher Noy. Authorization Trala 23, Victor 6 Sigma. Thank you, Supervisor. Please input your selection below. First log. Personal log supplemental. We had some visitors from the Alliance today. Noi was rather rude to them, but I managed to smooth things over. This time. Still, he has good reason to be stressed. The war isn't going well, and there's a lot of pressure on him right now. He could be a bit more agreeable, however. Perhaps a peace offering. Those Terran snack cakes he's so fond of with the... What is the word? <gasps> Nougat. I tried to tell him about the baby again last night, but he was so stressed out, I just couldn't add to his burden. Hopefully things will calm down a bit soon and I can tell him. On a positive note, my work is progressing quite well. I believe these logs should now be shielded from any kind of temporal... Oh, I forgot to minimize chat there. Not... Twitch chat, I'm talking about in game chat. Please input your selection below. Okay, next one. Personal log supplemental. My review of the time capsule files is complete. What I have learned has shocked me to the very core of my being. I had a wife, and she was pregnant. My wife and unborn child were murdered by the Federation and their allies. They devastated my people, murdered my family, and erased an entire species from time and space. I cannot let this stand. This I vow. I shall not rest until I have restored my family or avenged their deaths. Time itself shall be the instrument of my vengeance. Please input your selection below. Personal log, supplemental. At last, I have found them, the Tutarians. Or rather, what they have become. Some of them managed to escape the treachery of the Federation, finding sanctuary in a trans-dimensional void. They are powerful. So powerful that some primitive species worship them like gods. And yet, they are trapped in their realm no longer able to exist within prime space. But I can help them. I can release them from Durant's file. With these builders at my side, I shall have my vengeance for Clauda. Please download Yeah, that's not good. What the? We're under attack! Noy has returned, and he's made a number of potent modifications to his ship. We could use some help up here with him and his allies. Of course. Beat me up. All right. Have to stop, stop Noi because he's gone a little off the rails, like as you can see. I have been waiting for this for a long time. At last. I take the first fateful steps upon my path of vengeance. They'll be your last if you're not careful. Stand down. 
As always, your thinking is so limited. For you, it has been moments. But for me, it has been years. Years of planning, building, all to return to this moment in time. To end you. <sighs> this doesn't have to happen, Noi. Oh, but it does, believe me. You took them. My wife, my unborn child. Time was your weapon then, and it is mine now. With it, I will eradicate your wretched alliance, just as you wiped the Tutarians from history. But, but, first things first. It's time for you to die. You're better than this, Noi. Stand down. This is Walker. We've got our hands full with Noi over here, but we'll keep him busy while you defend the station. We could use a hand once it's secure, though. Anorax packs quite a punch. Acknowledge, Pastic. You're not escaping from me. Arrow, we've been pulled into the time stream, time stream with the Anorak, so can't let her escape. Target her engineering section and disable the main drive. Sorry, Black Dyer hit. Lacked our heading, trying to change directions while temporal transit could be disastrous. Did that <laughs> decided to do that oh, again. There you are. I thought we'd lost you. What happened to Noi? He disrupted our warp field and made his ship escape in the chaos. Damn. A rogue agent out there with a ship like the Anorax is a real big problem. One step at a time. Let's get you back to the 25th century once you're ready for the trip. Okay, my uh he says, my science officer tells me that Noise ship is using Spear Builder tech. Looks like they're back and with a vengeance. Alright, let's get out of here. So, Noi turned against us, huh? This is troublesome. With his theft of the Anorax, he poses a great threat to the galaxy. Sadly, I don't think we've seen the last of him. The surprise actions of the Nakul are also a concern. What could they be up to, I wonder? Regardless, I think you'll agree. The battlefield just got a lot bigger. I'll get the Admiralty Bundle. Okay, next up... The data from the future you've provided has made it clear. We need to form a stronger alliance with the major galactic factions. To that end, we're sending delegates to the First Alliance Summit. This could be the beginning of a new age, and your presence there could ensure the summit's success. Meet oh. our delegation at the Embassy on New Romulus. Alright. To New Romulus!
And let's begin Temporal Front. Okay, it's really happening, Admiral. The first summit, summit conference between the major powers and the Alliance. Given your pivotal role in events leading to this meeting, the various leaders and ambassadors will be seeking your counsel on matters. We shouldn't be keeping them waiting. Uh, pivotal, pivotal role, eh? I did my duty as an officer, nothing more. Greetings! It's an honor to finally meet you. Welcome to New Romulus and the first Alliance Summit. The opening ceremonies will begin soon. Until then, please, wait here in the Assembly Hall. Thank you, Lieutenant Commander. Okay, let's talk to Sean. Well, here first. we are. It's still a little hard to believe, isn't it? Peace in our time, or so they say in all the media reports. Regardless of the outcome today, the crew of the Enterprise stands ready. As does my crew, Captain. Come what may, we'll do our duty. This summit shall be of historical importance to be certain. Ambassador Sugihara and President Okeg have a monumental task ahead of them, however. There is a 34.8% chance of a major diplomatic incident occurring during the summit. One that could lead to its complete collapse. And so we beat those odds, Admiral, for all our sakes. Good to see you. Quite a sight to see, this summit. I can't help but wonder what the role of Starfleet will be once it's complete. Will we return to a role of discovery, or remain on guard, phasers at the ready? That thought has crossed my mind as well, Admiral, more than once. And finally, the annoying person that's been saying <laughs> saying things about about the ships around ESD and Deep Space Nine, President Okeg. <laughs> it is a pleasure to finally meet you. Your reputation precedes you, of course. Were it not for your efforts, this summit wouldn't be happening. Allow me to thank you for that. On behalf of the United Federation of Planets. We've quite the journey ahead of us, but we'll begin today by taking that important first step. One small step, eh, Mr. President? Sometimes those lead to great things. Come on! Today is a momentous occasion for us all. Let us hope that this conference goes better than the one at Ketama. You have done well to prove that we need this agreement to succeed. Still, it would be naive of us all to assume that this peace will last any longer than the ones that have come before. More likely, we are on the peaceful side of a giant circle, and it is only a matter of time before we find a side of war once more. Conflict will find us all, Chancellor. Facing it with our allies is the path to victory. Jolon True. Truly, we are witnesses to history. If only my esteemed mentor, Ambassador Spock, had lived to see this day. When reflecting upon this summit, I am reminded of an ancient Terran saying he once taught me. They shall beat their swords into plowshares. Many here today would see that come to pass for us, I think. Of that I have no doubt, sir. And yet, despite the withdrawal of the Iconians, we have many enemies throughout the Void. Many worlds must be rebuilt to survive. It seems we have great need of both swords and plowshares. A strong alliance can secure both of them for us all. Yeah, if you want peace, prepare for war. Seems appropriate. Okay, I'm gonna check up on preparations. The opening ceremonies are about to begin. Ambassador Sugihara will be making an announcement shortly. Very good, Lieutenant Commander. May I have your attention? 
The summit is about to commence. Please join me in the main conference room now. Oh. Speak with Ambassador Sugihara? So glad you could make it. I have to admit, you've done what many believe to be impossible. Bringing everyone to the table to form a greater galactic alliance. Well done. Now, if you would be so kind, would you mind escorting your leader to the conference room? I can't think of a better honor guard. Of course, Pastor, see you inside. Is it time? Very well. Let's not keep history waiting. This Lead way. The way. This way, Mr. President. Fellow delegates, honored guests, we stand at a crossroads. What the? Oh shit, someone's trying to sabotage things. Chancellor, that Romulan poisoned his wine. This is Romulan treachery. We did no such thing. Oh shit, what just happened? Mr. President, look out! Shit! when my armor gets locked up. That's enough out of you. Sit down. It's time to get to the bottom of this. You. Once again, you meddle in the affairs of your betters, alien. I don't recognize you anywhere, Krog. It's been a while. Okay, not nearly long enough to pity about Glorda Core. Over a hundred years have passed, and it's still a putrid, putrid wasteland. Ah, I can see by the look on your face that we are about to have an unpleasant conversation. So be it. Okay, let's start with something simple. What time period are you from? One that shall be free of your wretched species, I think. And soon! Uh... 29th, maybe? Most astute, alien. Or perhaps a lucky guess? That seems more likely, yes. 29th century it is. Next question. How did you get here? To this room? A simple matter of putting one foot in front of the other, oh, One second, really. everyone. With considerable practice, you may be able to master the technique. Although I have my doubts. Sorry about that. Dad was a needed to ask a question. Anyway, hmm, interesting nano weave. It shows you are re uh, as a shows you as a Riemann attendant. A simplified but accurate deduction. You must be so proud. Considerably so. Let's move on, shall we? Are you working alone or as part of a team? One of my people is worth a thousand of your misbegotten species. Hmm. I'm thinking there's two of you, a shooter and a spotter. 
<laughs> Wrong. Such a simple matter. And yet, the truth is beyond your grasp. After long, specialist, another question. Where's your home where's your home base of operations? Search the skies for a star in the grip of death, and you may find my home. Uh Star in the Grip of Death. Surely you're not referring to the Nakul system, or are you? Yes. Nakul. Her beautiful radiance will return to the cosmos once more. It is a matter of destiny. Okay, but how? Uh-oh. Hello. I see you've discovered a temporal anomaly. Captain Walker? Sir, Wells class has just arrived in orbit. It's the past deck. Indeed, Captain Walker's with us now. Wiles out. Didn't need to know that. We detected a time breach in the 29th century. Strangely, we couldn't track the actual traveler, but we sensed a change in history on this day and time. Seemed like a good idea to investigate it. Meet Specialist Krog. She just failed to assassinate Prezor Okeg. No doubt an attempt to fatally undo the Alliance Summit. Quite the terrorist act. If this summit fails, everything you saw in the future would be disrupted at best. At worst, that future will cease to exist entirely. I'm not reading any other not cool here, nor have I picked up any other temporal anomalies yet. So I suspect she is working alone. Still, I wouldn't put it past her to be a small part of a greater temporal incursion. Sounds like a trip to the future's in order, Captain. Go to the future? If we're certain they are from Nakul, wouldn't a preemptive strike in this time put an end to any of their future ambitions? Uh, trust me, disrupting, Nak disrupting Nakul now would be disastrous. That's correct. The safest course of action is to stop the incursion at its point of origin, the 29th century Nakul system. Time is of the essence. We'll need to leave soon. May I suggest turning over your prisoner to Commander Jirak before we depart? Certainly, Commander, if you'd be so kind. I'll be happy to acquaint Specialist Krog with the interior of a high-security Romulan holding cell. Good hunting. Thank you, Commander. Run a level 3 security sketch. He may have more tricks up her sleeve. Admiral, you ready to head back to the future? Yes, inform command that we're investigating the incident at the source and beam us up. All hands, brace for temporal shift. Now! How are y'all doing tonight, chat? Just want to check up on you. Hope you're all doing well. Oh, that's good, Yozo. A cool system, big star date. <laughs> Admiral, the stellar dwarf decades were in the 29th century. Interesting. Oh, that's nice, Yoza. Pretty cool. Okay, Tamed, what have you discovered? Look at the stars, sir. Over 400 years have passed, and the Nakul still have a turn, turn, and it still has a turn to the singularity. Reading some strange, some strange, some very unusual stellar radiation here. Sir, the pus stack is hailing us. On screen. I take it you're seeing the same thing we are. While the Nakul star was ruined by the Toxutat in your time, the fact that it's not a black hole is quite the mystery. Reports of its dis of its demise of its demise is, appears to have been exaggerated. Quite so. We're also reading a massive structure of unknown origin near the star. It's a day for enigmas, it seems. Well, let's take a closer look at those enigmas, Captain. Strange. 
This system hasn't been inhabited for decades. What are the not cool up to? Well, let's get for a mid range scan. Unknown vessels, you have violated not cool space. You shall pay with your lives. Most of the Nakul are law-abiding, but the radical elements have been a thorn in our side for some time. Well, looks like the fat thorn's getting sharper, Captain. You shall pay for your crimes, alien filth! Starting to come together. General Vosk is the leader of a radical element within the Nakul. We've been looking for him for some time. Well, your search may be over. We're reading an inbound ship on high warp. Acknowledged. Sensors indicate she's of Nakul registry. The NV Destiny. Helm, Senators, of course. multiple Nakul warp signatures inbound to our location. We'll maintain overwatch as long as we can. Go get Voss. Right away. Oh, I'm I'm excited for the new new ship that's coming out. Chat the the Typhoon the Typhoon Temporal Battle Cruiser. Now, if you're an old school player, you've seen the Typhoon, the old one. It, basically, in a nutshell, it was a kit bash, and it it basically best way to describe it as. It's ugly! I love it! Can we have a playable version? <laughs> uh, well, take a look at it. It definitely looks pretty cool. I can't wait to find out the stats on it. Okay, we're able to be just outside Vox Bridge. Be careful, sir. Knowledge. Alright, everyone, alert. Everyone, move out and stay sharp. I admire your tenacity, but your struggle is truly in vain. Soon the Nakul will stand first above all. Your kind will be but a memory, replaced by the glory of Nakul! Not if we have anything to say about it, General. Distortions. 
hate those distortions. But dealing with the not cool that is. Portal is ready. All hands, begin temporal shunt for Nakul, for destiny. Come with us, sir. It's time. Very well. Computer, initiate self-destruct sequence now. Oh shit. under control and fast I'm beaming over to join your efforts I prefer keeping the destiny in one piece her temporal tech alone is well worth saving cover me while I try to shut down the self-destruct sequence be prepared the not cool won't go down easy understood captain will give you the time you need Incoming enemies! Hold the line! Try to bypass the lock. Cover me. What do you think I'm doing? More not cool heading our way. Adaptive security. Looks like they've learned a trick or two from the Borg. Let's download what data we can and leave. Multiple Nakul life signs detected. Devils, they've started using a full data purge. Think I can stall that for a while. Console. Need a little more time here. Cover me. What do you think I've been doing? The last data nodes. Better have a look. It's grim. 
Destiny is about to explode and the Nakul are on the verge of a major military operation. I'll return to Pasta, call for reinforcements, and hold the line. Understood. I managed to bypass the security protocols on the main console. Grab any critical data you can and beam out before Destiny explodes. Will do. Good luck, Captain. We won't be long. Okay. Now the partial data plan and beam out. Ow. Dang me. at all. Okay. Exit explosion range and get my... If we don't shut down the Nakul portal quickly, Facing a full scale temporal assault. Reinforcements are on the way, both for us and the Nakul. Buckle up, things are about to get rough. Yep, red alert, all hands battle stations. Still in red alert. There we go. I'm picking up many more not cool ships inbound. Holding them back will be uh, challenging. This situation is escalating. We must destroy their temporal facility before any other ships travel through. Uh, agreed. Weapons ready. Let's put that portal out of commission. I just blew it up. <laughs> downloaded and a little luck, we might be able to find the Nakul cool vessels that made it through the portal. Hopefully before they can do any serious damage to the time stream. Have faith, Captain. We'll stop them. Your confidence is reassuring. Let's get you back to... Wait. We just registered a new historical record. It appears that General Vosk has been found and dealt with in the distant past by Captain Jonathan Archer. Oh, what a Starfleet's finest. That's one down, more to follow. Indeed. We've got our work cut out for us. 
I suspect we'll have to recruit more temporal agents to deal with incursions of this magnitude. Regardless, thank you for all your help today. Let me know when you're ready to return to your time. Acknowledged. Are you ready to return to the 25th century? I am. Welcome back. I've asked Temporal Investigations to see what can be done about the Nakul incursions. You'll be happy to know that the summit is still on, though it took Sujihara quite a bit of maneuvering to get the Klingons back to the table. Commander Shavaz's sacrifice was not in vain. May she rest in peace. Well, this means I could replay that, but... We've received reports of strange events in the Eta Eridani sector, near the Donatu system. Time permitting, follow up and see what you can find. Sure. Just transwarp there. I have a job that requires your specific skills. Okay. I expect you to be efficient and discreet. Don't disappoint me. We have reports of a true way fleet entering the neutral zone and picking a fight with the Klingons near the Donatu system. Having two of our enemies fight is good for the Federation. By the way, this but is. I want to know why the true way is so far out of their territory. This Intercept is them supposed to be. Them. If you need to engage the Klingons as well, do so. A Starfleet task force has already been sent to the area. You'll need to join them in the Donatu system as soon as possible. Okay. Until I, next time. By the way, in case you're wondering... There's been a serious temporal incursion. Head to Deep Space Nine and use the wormhole to travel to the Gamma Quadrant as soon as possible. Once we're through the wormhole, we'll be traveling to what becomes the new Kittimer system in the 28th century. It's on the fringe of current Dominion territory, so we should be able to transit in time before they're aware of us. Okay, before we continue, I'll hit accept. You're not looking so hot, and we're going to take care of this this thing. In case you're wondering where it's supposed to take place, the, the specters, let me just show you. Should be taking place right between these two. Decided to do things a little bit differently, but because, of course, you have to be level 65. <laughs> Anyway, let's go to the Don... Go, let's go in and see what's going on. I think there's just some... In my... I think there's just some rogue Klingons. You know how Klingons are. Alrighty. Captain, I'm picking up multiple hostile contacts, both Klingon and True Way. Okay, yeah, Klingon's been here, but why the True Na why True Way normally leave Kardashian space? There's no reason to be here. Using hails, and we have to board one of them. Oh, you.
There, ship disabled. Okay, the Cardassian flagship of the Axon has been disabled. Her warp core is stable for now. Recommend we get a closer look. And let's beam over. By the way, in case you're wondering who Franklin Drake is, Section 31. In case you're wondering. I know you're wondering, why am I playing through old missions that don't, that are really re that relevant anymore, since they're now side content? Well, that's... <laughs> No, Section 31, as in, basically, think CIA, uh, if you were to compare it to something modern. Oh boy, this is a mess here. Okay, I need to take care of this one second. There we go. Captain Cardassian's security teams are already on, on the start to move out of our position. We should expect heavy resistance. Yeah, true way. I really wrecked this place. <laughs> Need to clear this out. <laughs> if that should take care of all the security measures between us and the bridge, don't expect the Kardashians to give up like that easily, though. They'll send more to intercept us. Yes, they will. See that? Uh, yeah. Captain, what were those things? Sir, this Cardassian doesn't appear to have any wounds on him, but my readings show that he was dead before we entered this room. I recommend we find a med kit and perform an examination of the corpse. We need to know more about what has happened to him. If he was attacked by those creatures, we may need to be cautious. Any contact may be lethal. Again, is there something wrong with the environmentals uh, environmentals on the ship? Okay. Patient admitted with the burns caused by an exploding GPS conduit. Treated with a protoplaser. Sedated and admitted for observation. 
neurological event resembling a cerebral vascular accident while sedated and was unable to be resuscitated. Okay. Laceration while working in engineering, closed with an auto suture, complained of headache with elevated body temp and nausea, white count elevated, and systemic infection from contamination of the wound site. Infection, uh, held in sick bay for observation, infection spread rapidly, rigorous, rigorous, rigorous treatment was formulated but proven unsuccessful. Circulatory system failure resulting from sepsis. Patient admitted of complaining of pain and inability to concentrate on assigned duties. Given hydrocortisone, told to rest. Said neither the medication nor rest helped. Treated with a larger dose, admitted to sick bay for observation. Fell unconscious, unable to be revived. Conducted with a neural light probe to obtain a sample of brain tissue. I think we're gonna need that. But just in case, let's check the last one. Nausea fatigues. Uh, died during that quarantine protocols. Laser scalpel. No. I think, I think it's something with the brain, from what I'm hearing. Evil Tribbles. <laughs> Funny. Okay, let's investigate this dead Cardassian. Okay, same cause. Same as the one in the mess hall. Let's see what... Let's use the Neuralite probe. Okay, yeah. Investigate. Okay, died from a neural radical decrease. Uh, radical decrease in neural energy. It's almost as if he was drained by an outside source. Hall brain activity came to a complete stop as his energy was depleted. Okay, great deal of interference by tricorder. Blah blah blah. Let's go. Uh, sorry about that. I was trying to s speak and a yawn came through. Check the energy scan. From what if I remember, it would be trialic waves. Okay, trialic waves are a process, blah blah blah. Because it causes a known deterioration of living tissue. And we got a large concentration, specifically around sent from the bridge. And there goes that thing again. Davidians, of course. Rosanna. Oh, there we go. Got rid of the blue lighting. Let's access the ship files. 
Okay. Most likely the science officer's log. Science officer's log, stardate 86790.8. My duties on a combat mission are limited, but I was pleased today to have a chance to scan the approaching Griffin's Comet. The comet itself has not been a focus of much scientific inquiry, and it last passed through this sector in the late 23rd century. My scans, however, reveal surprising amounts of triolic wave energy emitting from the comet, as well as detectable amounts of chroniton particles. The triolic waves will unfortunately prevent a closer study of the comet. They are quite harmful to humanoid life forms, and the captain is loath to jeopardize our mission for my curiosity. I have requested the launch of a Class I probe. The chronotons are of even greater interest. They appear in instances of temporal disturbances, which could mean that this comet has been, or will be, in the presence of a temporal event. Time mechanics are so cumbersome. I must have more data. But the captain has never had much interest in science. Perhaps I will remind him that chroniton particles are harmful against the aliens who live in the Bajoran wormhole. A potential weapon to use against the Bajoran's gods may be of enough interest to him to divert our course. Okay, let's get back to our ship. There are Davidians in the neutral zone. Are you sure you found no sign of the Cardassians attempting to open a portal, or otherwise bring the Davidians into our phase variants? This no. is troublesome. There are pieces to the puzzle I don't have yet. Let me do some digging and I will be in touch. I mainly wanted to get this. <laughs> Until next time. Okay, go to Drozana Station. Okay, cover operative, find her, take her to safety if you have to. Alrighty then. Until next time. Not just auto navigate, it's too short of a jump. <laughs> I think it's also time for me to pick up the, the Phoenix lockbox. If you're playing Star Trek Online, you you can get yourself a free da um, daily Phoenix box. I forgot when it ends, though. I think it may be ending tomorrow. I'm not certain, honestly. Come on, I've been here for a been here a few quite a few times. Oh, mm -hmm. need to prepare another instance. Welcome to Josanna. You're cleared for docking. We have everything you need for shore leave, and a few things that you didn't even know you wanted. Shopping, drinking, dining, entertainment. You'll find it all here. And don't forget the 77th rule of acquisition. If you break it, I'll charge you for it. Alrighty then. Let's dock. Not sure where we start, should start, but it tells us that Belan is the fangry we should talk to if you're looking for information. He's a bartender. We should look for him in the lounge area. Yep, my free, p free hey, hands off a hologram. My free Phoenix prize pack is available. And let's see what we got. Get your comet cocktails! 4.7% discount for the next three minutes. Uh let's question him. Welcome to Drosana Station, the home of the finest libations and pleasures this side of Rex. 
Care to hear about today's specials? Have you tried the Comet Cocktail? It's out of this world. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Aren't we all? Me? I want a leggy Vulcan with a liberal attitude toward interspecies relations. So, are you looking for someone in particular? Or uh, just some company? Her name's Zamara. Do you know her? Oh yeah, I know Samara. Maybe she's been here recently, and uh, maybe she hasn't. My memory is kind of uh, hazy. Perhaps we could come to some sort of arrangement. Yeah, I'm sure we can. In fact, I feel my memory clearing up already. <laughs> I tell you what, I know you Starfleet types aren't big on Latin, but what you do have are skills and a willingness to get your hands dirty. That's what I need right now. Our replicators are on the fritz. Maybe it's a whole power system because the lights are going wonky too. But a little blue mood lighting isn't as big a problem for me as unfilled drink orders. Go to the cargo bay and get my replicators working. By the time you're done, I'm sure I will have remembered where I last saw Zamara. Okay. Okay, let's run a diagnostic on the replicators. Diminish functions of the elect electroplasma network distribute distribution network. Okay, let's run a diagnostic on that. I'll report on deck one. Replicators are offline until fluctuations are repaired. Cause of loss power? Unknown. Power must be what must be done to restore power? Okay. There's, the power must be rerouted through systems to relieve strain on EPS. Consoles are available. Hollow suites, gravity, replicators, environmental, and defense grid. Six are required to stabilize the power grid. Let's hail the engineering team. Captain, the biggest problem you're going to have is repairing anything on that station is the age of the system and the general lack of maintenance. It was built in just the 23rd century, and many of the systems on the station haven't had a major update in more than a century. So you're dealing with an EPS system that just can't handle the strain of running modern equipment like replicators. I did some digging in our star in our database, and I found a log made by by a Starfleet Corps of Engineer officer who visited the station in the early 24th century and made repairs to the EPS system. Log states says that you need to regulate the power by float by routing it through various subsystems. It's almost like you're using those systems as ancient circuit breakers. What do you suggest? Scan the, some of the damaged systems and power couplings. You should learn you should learn more how to probably realign. The, those relays. Okay, sc scan this. Okay, scan the network. Oh, they, it looks like I found snarl wires and cables that have been chewed on by voles. Okay, Let's try the first one. Environmental. Okay. Two. Okay, they can finally two cannot connect to hollow suites. Wait. Yep, I was wrong. <laughs> First. Second. Okay, a whole bunch of burned out power cup couplings. And yeah, six connections knew that. Damage power coupling. Okay, defense grid? 
Nope. One, two. Okay, gravity control? Wait, scan. Okay, can connect to environmental control. Crusade can connect to environmental and defense, but not replicators. Okay. Third. Think back to environmental. Yes, and replicators. Get your Comet Cocktails! 4.7% discount for the next three minutes! Welcome to Drosana Station! Have okay, you tried blah, blah, the blah. Comet Cocktail? I fixed your replicators. They are! And I am exceedingly pleased by your generous offer to repair them for no compensation. I can't let you go away empty-handed, though. How about I give you a 15% discount on drinks and souvenirs for an amount of time to be determined by management? We had a deal. Replicators for information about Zamaro. Fine. A deal's a deal, right? <laughs> Never let it be said that I'll cheat a valued customer like yourself. Uh, personally, I don't know why you're so interested in her. She's a looker, but just try talking to her. She's more paranoid than an obsidian order agent in a room full of Tal Shiar. <laughs> Zamara usually hangs out near the Dabo tables. Keep an eye out for a looker wearing purple. <laughs> you can't miss her. Good to- Thank you. That's her. Be careful. They're watching. I'm not in the mood for a chat right now, thanks. I was sent to the uh, they who. Shh, shh. Keep your voice down. I'm being watched. I've seen too many familiar faces in the crowd, and there are shadows, watchers in the dark. I see them out of the corner of my eye when they think I'm not looking, but I'm always looking. When the lights change, there they are. Watch yourself. They're everywhere. I was sent to help you. You weren't sent to help me. You were sent to watch me. Drake needs me to keep feeding information to Starfleet Intelligence. The Klingons come here and they drink and they talk. It's amazing the bits of information you can pick up around a Dabo table. Everything, even the smallest detail, is important. Captain Gerard was in here last week. He ordered Blood Wine, an entire bottle of the 2309 vintage, to be exact. That business with the House of Torg must have upset him more than we knew. When Gerard's happy, he drinks Warnock. Watch yourself. They're everywhere. Okay, what can I do to help you? Find out who's watching me. I'm not safe here. The Klingons are looking for me. They know someone has been feeding intelligence to Starfleet. The ghosts are always watching. Their eyes are hungry. Yesterday, they surrounded a drunken Klingon. Now he's dead. They will find me when the blue light shines, and then I'll disappear. I know what those ghosts are. How could you know that? You may think you know. You may even have readings in your tricorder that you think are right. But you don't know. How could you know? I'm here every day. They watch me, and I watch them. I can take you someplace safe. No. They're everywhere. They're watching. You've been here too long. Someone will notice that we're together. Go do something else. Play Dabo. I'll contact you when I'm ready. When it's safe. Okay. Paranoid much? Can't you see I'm busy losing all my latinum? Bad luck. Just a minor setback the next bit and it's mine and I can feel it in my lobes. If you're sure. Can't you see I- Anyway. Play some Dabo. Spin the wheel and win. Four. Thirteen. 
24. Oh, shit. All right, everyone, give me one second. Something's happening again. Yeah, I'm looking at what's going on here right now. Everyone, give me a minute. <clears throat> Close enough. Okay, what is going on here? Let me refresh chat here real quick, so give me one second. Oh, something is going on. idea but here don't hear the dabble that much okay should be stabilizing now I could be wrong yeah I'll close discord completely I'll close my web browser also. Okay, according to OBS, it's still not recovering that well. Oh, we got ourselves something going on here. One second. It's game audio. Turn off Discord avatars right this second. Okay. It seems we're back to normal. By the way, it it, do, it acts like the um, STO acts like this when I alt tab, so don't need to worry about that right now. Okay, close enough. Blah blah blah. Zamara wants me to give you a message. She wants you to know, if you're interested in finding out what's really going on here at Trezana Station, you need to check out the lower list. I have an access code for you that will get you past the security doors. If you want to talk with her again, I suggest you collect your wings and catch her before she leaves. All right. I'm not in the mood for a chat right now, thanks. Are you ready to talk now? You don't need to worry about me. I'm going to leave this place to the ghosts. They seem to belong here more than we do. I've booked passage on a ship. You don't need to know which one. Just tell Drake. He'll keep getting his intel. One way or another. Good luck. You're going to need it. Watch All right. Yourself. Okay, they're t found in Montrosano Station. Feet and uh, some sort of feeding ground. 
request sensor data for the ships closer to the comet's current location for analysis, but that's only half our problem. If properties of the comet are somehow easing the Davidians' entry into this area of space, how do we stop them? Recommendations. Closest research facility is on Deep Space K7. Recommend that we consult the teams there. Well, let's return to our ship and head there. Oh, we're still having issues. I have no clue what's causing this, everyone. I remember there was a whole bunch of people over in the shipyard area. I'm, t I'm going to take a quick look. It's been a while. Yeah, this place used to be covered with... with captains. <laughs> I'm just want to see someone here real quick. Oh, they still have those here. <laughs> Look at what you needed back then for for buying stuff that are, that's in the pink or in the purple area. Very or she very rare. When very rare was the cap, you could only buy anti-proton weapons with dilithium. Okay, saying that it's fine on my end right this second, so let's continue on here. Turbo lift to the lab. Okay, why is that person on the floor? How can I help you? Okay, do you know Franklin Drake? I have had dealings with him in the past. I think he's some sort of military strategist. He visits here from time to time, although Commander Wildman is never too thrilled to see well, that's... him. He's always treated me well, though, so I don't have any reason to dislike him. Good luck, and stay safe. Okay, there are... Um... Okay, there are Davidians in the neutral zone. So that explains why Drake was interested in the prototype. It was a complete failure at detecting polarization cloaks. But if I added a phase modulator and reversed the polarity, these modifications should be no problem. 
And when I'm done, this will sparkling water quite a punch against Fave's shifted Davidians. I'll forward the weapon on to Drake as soon as I'm done. Be careful. The Davidians won't stop. I'm afraid we'll have to be ready to fight. Good. Okay. Okay, we get done what we can for Zamara. We have information on Davidians. Just we report back to Drake. Okay, not now. Good work. Zamara may think she has slipped my noose, but I always have ways of keeping tabs on her. I take special care to know all about people in whom I have an interest. But you already know that, don't you? The ghosts that Zamara mentioned concern me, however. You already encountered Davidians once. It's likely they're on Drazana Station as well. And I won't let them use Federation citizens as food. Lieutenant Kalapo has completed work on the Synchronic Distortion Prototype Rifle. It should help you when you're ready to enter the lower levels of Drazana. Drake out. I'll take Until that. next time. It's clear the Davidians are more of a problem than we initially thought. We know they're in the neutral zone. Now we know they're on Drazana Station as well, and according to Zamara, there have already been deaths there. In addition, she indicated that the lower levels of the station were a trouble spot. Those levels aren't used as part of the club there, and they haven't been maintained for years, and Ferengi are, of course, quite reticent to put any effort into maintenance that isn't absolutely necessary. That means we don't really know what's down there. Zamara's code should get you access. Take a lift down and check it out. Previous Starfleet encounters with Davidians have indicated that they will create nests around the temporal portals they use, so keep an eye out for anomalies. If we find the portal, we'll know where and when the Davidians are feeding. Oh, and I expect it to be messy down there. Don't forget to take an emergency beacon. All right. Until next time. Let's go back to Drozano. Welcome to Josat. Hey, let's just dock. And because... Because of that, I want to swap out my usual phaser rifle for the... For that special weapon. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's begin what lies beneath. Also, looking at the thing there, because I have it set it up for 15 minutes, it seems that it started at 9.05. Oh, actually, I'm going to write this down because... Because if this happens again on my stream, I will be able to know more. Okay, it was about 9.05 p.m. Lasted to about 9.15 p.m. This is Eastern Standard Time, by the way. Okay, so I'm reading temporal fluctuations of trialic energy in these there's a, these levels of the station. Staying down here for too long could be hazardous. Interference may also make it difficult to contact the ship to get a transport lock if we need an emergency beam out. Excuse me. Okay, contains this level contains power junctions and EPS conduits for the rooms above us. We need to reach the maintenance lift and take down take that down to the computer core. Take a new flashlight since I left it behind. 
Okay, box of emergency supplies is just lying around. Balin is um, probably barred with it and not with a Noskin pirate. Recognize these flashlight drones has hands free hover system programmed to shift in response to your movement. Not the most reliable design, though. Trilog waves, there must be Davidians nearby. I expect we will see more as we approach the area with the greatest concentration of trialic energy. Sir, I'm also picking up some indeterminate readings from behind the door to our left. However, the interference from the trialic waves are making it hard to get an accurate scan at a distance. Uh, it's a horror based one. When you get to a certain level. Okay, examine the door. Looks like this door is stuck, sir. We'll have to find another way around. One th of the side maintenance passages should have an altered roof. Uh oh. Spiders. Oh, well, it's just easy. Reroute a hydraulic coupling. There we go. No, 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 you're not doing that to me. Okay, the Davidians are getting, definitely getting more aggressive. They could have a lair somewhere in the lower levels. If they do, they'll become increasingly more violent as we get closer to their territory. And the wearful had blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lift out of emergency lockdown. This is the console. Okay, I wonder why someone would lock down the lift in the first place. And activate the lift. Okay, this is at the computer core level. So it appears the lift is stuck. We're somewhere on the maintenance level for environmental controls and waste recycling. We'll need to track down the damaged junctions on this floor and repair or bypass them before we can take the lift to the computer core level. Okay. Emergency door override. There we go. Captain, the door, we're locked in. Uh oh. Someone's, someone's locked the door with their cursed key. It looks like the, the key itself is a kiloquad long. So if we don't find the key, we could be stuck here for a long time. Okay, let's try to contact the ship. Are you there, Captain? Your signal is. And we lost. Too much interference. It looks like we're on our own. Here we go, we got everyone regrouped. Log entry supplemental. The strange power fluctuations aren't related to the problems in the power subsystems on the upper decks. So I'm looking into the possibility of feedback damage or spikes in the environmental systems. It could take some time to find the problem and make repairs, though. Particularly if I need to use the replicators to create replacement components. But Balan is loath to allow use of the replicators for anything more than blood wine and vermilion sand peas. 
I mean, this is dirty, uncomfortable, and thoroughly disagreeable work. Naturally, as soon as the job involves mucking around in the recycled atmosphere and waste Ooh, processing, that's cool, I get a short straw. All right. Hear this relay. to cover the comms cause console on the wall, Captain. One second. Hello? Is someone there? Anyway, sorry about that, everyone. Dad decided to come, decided to open up, knock on my door, and pretend he was a transporter accident. <laughs> okay, anyway, who's this? Please, you have to help me. I came down here to check on one of the atmosphere regulators, and someone shot me. Who shot you? I'm, I'm not sure. I, I didn't get a good look. He was so fast. You have to find a way to open this door and get me out of here. I'm activating the manual override. Try to reach the release lever. Oh, Prophet, no. He's back. He's... No! Ah! Oh, shit. Multiple phaser burns and Katusha's sir, this woman was murdered. The wounds are still warm. She was just killed a few seconds ago. There are no other ex in exits or entrances in this room. Transports are offline. How could she be killed if she was alone in her locked room? idea why you were doing that, but okay. Log entry supplemental. I've upgraded a few of the components on this level, including remote overrides for bleed valves on environment controls, hollow emitters to expedite further repairs, and security overrides in case of emergency. I'm starting to suspect that the low-level radiation I've detected on these decks has affected the station inhabitants, and that some are showing signs of transient acute schizophrenia and paranoia. I'll have to maintain contact silence for now, so that they don't interfere while I'm trying to repair the systems. Once I've corrected the problems causing the radiation leaks, we can deal with the symptoms. Log entry supplemental. My work here will take far longer than I originally anticipated. Fortunately, I've engaged a safety interlock on the maintenance lift, so no one will come down here without me knowing about it. I found several program errors that have purged the affected subroutines. The work is much easier now. Soon everything will be under control. Sounds like someone went a little bit crazy.
right, let's bypass the relay. Baniken, Baniken, I see you. Baniken, Baniken, what will you do? Who are you? He just vanished. I think I know know who he is. Hologram. Malfunctioning one hologram. No wonder. Trialic energy would have degraded his program and caused instability, and the Davidians didn't bother because I had no neural energy for them to feed upon. So it looks like the encryption key for the door might correspond to a subroutine embedded in the hologram's mobile emitter. We should be able to use it to open the door. Mobile emitters are still rare outside Starfleet, Captain. Staff at your must have spent quite a lot of Latinum to obtain one. If you ask me, Balan might be selling more than drinks and Dabo. It'd be best if someone keeps an eye on it, but I have a feeling, frankly, Drake is doing something just like that. Doing something just, just like that. Let's get it down further. This is it, we made it to the computer core level. On the station, the core itself is down a long ramp area past some regulator, regulator rooms. We should head there as quickly as possible. Agreed. Okay, just a quick unlock from, from secondary, so secondary security here. Because they can have force fields in order to make it so they can actually use their stuff. Use stuff. So they can pick up a phaser and start shooting. I know it's not really effective, this gun, this proton rifle, but it, 
it's fun to use. That's why I'm using it. <laughs> Through the doorway down the ramp. Oh, hello there. Hey, it's red shirts. <laughs> This person from the 23rd century, the Davidians mostly bringing their victims through time. You have to stop it before they're responsible for any other deaths, they could disrupt the timeline. You mean they have it already by killing the killing them? Uh Hi Ignore us. something. Okay, regulator room for power control. Probably leashes to station power to keep the gate active. Set up a power spike. Might disrupt the videos on their gate. And while well, you're distracting them. Field control for the lower levels. Counteract the Davidian's phasing ability. And spiders. Charge in. Where's the portal? Over there. Heads back to the 23rd century. Okay, yeah, we should just scan it and. Yeah, let's get out of here. Back to K7. By the way, we're going to complete this um, before we leave tonight, just so you know. Oh, wrong... Wrong thing, I'm not doing a task force operation right now. Okay, now, back to K7. I must say this is one thing about the old the old missions like this. You have to go back and forth. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Dark. Okay, use their computer. Use the computers to analyze here. Okay, analyze the data. Why am I facing that way? Okay, analysis temporal recursion consisted with blah blah blah. Standard year year twenty two sixty five. Based on phase shift attack and spin supported by draw for Drosana power supply. Okay, can it be safely closed or used? Unst instability to quantum particle entanglement. Portal can be a large or axis with modulated energy directed energy when phase shift entangled, blah blah blah. Yeah, basically you can access it. Now that we know the Davidians have a portal to the past and approximately where they are focusing their attention, I see no other choice than to send you and your crew back there to stop them before they kill again. I'll be honest, time travel is a tool. At times, it is a useful one. I know Starfleet has hundreds of regulations about temporal incursions, but my job is to preserve the Federation, not make Admiral Quinn and the rest of the suits at Starfleet Command happy. If we break a few rules along the way, so be it. I need to make some preparations before you can proceed. I will contact you when the time is right. Drake, until Which is next now. time. Obviously, the Davidians have found a way to harness this surge of triolic energy. The existence of the Davidian portal means they're traveling freely between the station in the present and in the past. Since 23rd century technology can't detect the Davidian phase shift, that time period is rife with potential victims. The only choice now is to stop the incursion at the source. You'll have to take that portal into the past and find out how the Davidians are creating this new surge of triolic energy. Stop them and find a way back without altering the timeline. Don't worry about temporal investigations. I'll pull a few strings. They'll never know you were gone. Best to keep your team small, just in case. Until next time. Back to Josanna again. <laughs> Welcome to Blah. Welcome to Doc at Rosetta Station, more like ram into it. <laughs> That's one way of docking. And let's let's do it. Myself, Tarsi, and Tamet. I have to wait for it to load. Give me one second, everyone. Just setting up for at the end of the stream. Um, first off, thanks a lot for doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna play ads now. After, just so you know, everyone, because as we're getting close to the end of the stream, might as well do it now. Okay, probably. Okay, take the portal to the past, as you already done it.
Ah, oh, come on, load up. Do 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 do. And here we are. Still in Rosanna Station, just in the past. Said what was a heavy stun. And stop shooting the... Oh, thanks a lot! Okay. Locked down. Yeah, these old Duotronics could get stuck. Okay. Switch. Switch bank one. Where is the other ones? Oh, there's the yep, there's another one. Switch banks one and two. Let's turn on bank one. There's the other one. Switch one banks one and three. And there we go. Okay, I have to bluff my way out of this. What are you doing down here? The station is on medical alert. And nobody's supposed to be in the computer core area, but I'm me. lost. The lift shouldn't have let you come down to this level. How did you get here? Ah, <sighs> uh, thank you, Dad, for say saying, responding to "I'm lost," and if and he says, "I knew that." <sighs> uh, okay, I was stuck on the lift with the station went to alert. This is where it let me out. You should have used the intercom to call for assistance. It's not safe to move about the station during a medical alert. Right, I should get back to the main station areas. Follow me. I'm going to call security for an escort. Uh, but what if I'm contagious? Would that be dangerous? Hmm, I guess you're right. Look, just go up to the maintenance lift, get to the emergency medical center as soon as possible, and get checked out. There's a doctor up there who has set up a triage center for the affected patients. Thank you. Okay, I'm just checking what- Another thing got sold in exchange. <laughs> Check the console for usable items. Okay, do a try transducer relay. Reading a patrol ahead. Since it's on medical alert, probably following a standard patrol pattern. I lock them in a room someplace. Okay, where are they? There we go. Also, because that's been not really useful. Put you there. Darcy, have have fun with this. I have no idea what what to do with it. <laughs> and this I'll put on my ship a bit later. More trial like wave to be somewhere on the station in this time period. Okay, let's talk to the ensign. Oh, hey. You shouldn't be here. You should get up to the quarantine area. So, what are you working on? Oh, just running a level 3 diagnostic on the subsystem. 
The computers on this station are state-of-the-art. I can simulate an entire copy of the station and display every piece of it as a wireframe model. That's impressive. I know, isn't it? I'm very fortunate to be able to work here. Working on a station like this really strikes home just how modern and new everything is. Is this subsystem tied to the main computer core? Yes, although it has its own memory and subprocessor as well. It can even work in parallel with the computer core's main processor. What happens when you tie it into the main computer memory? Here, I'll show you. That's odd. The core isn't responding to my request. I need to go talk to Lieutenant Myers. Make sure you get up to the quarantine area and get checked out by the doctor. All right. And she's gone. Let's work on the console. Get okay. Discharge power. Or should I remove that? Touch static discharge. Unlock safety cage. Remove the monitor. Take the regulator. This direction? Nope, wrong direction. Maybe this left. And yeah, this is the power distribution levels. Our security must have overridden the terminal. If they must have detected our arrival. Station security will be here any minute. We should. Go to get out of this while I think we better look for alternatives quickly. Uh, first lock down with an encryption key. And climb through the Jeffries tube. Another group of Starfleet officers ahead, sir. For cautious, we might be able to avoid them while they aren't looking. Wrong direction. Okay, you two wait here. Hold it right there. Oh, great. That's not gonna work. Let's stun them. Right, the lift maintenance lock. The maintenance lift lock. Yeah, I stunned them all right. <laughs> Either way, they're knocked out. More... Yeah, stuff is selling. Okay, find an induction coil as part of the power systems. We just need to rig the subspace inducer to the sensor array, and we can pinpoint the Davidian's incursion. Don't have time to help anyone else. You there, don't just stand there. Come over here here and give me a hand. People are dropping like flies on the station all, and it's all I and all I can do is keep up. What's going on? Some kind of Ill, illness has affected these people on the station. Blue flashes at ghost stories. There has to be a reason for it. We need to stop it. People are dying here. Okay, what do you need me to do? As far as I can tell, all these people reported seeing those strange blue flashes of light 
the, uh, now they're dying and or they're worse than dead. Their brains are gone. Whatever this disease is, this is pressing brain activity at an alarming rate. It's almost as if they're as if the energy is between the neurons is, was removed somehow. The blue flashes seem to be associated with a strange form of radiation. We've set up triage uh, the triage center here. That crazy engineer that said the power distribu distribution um, station is heavily shielded. Okay, what kind of radiation? Uh, not a doctor, an engineer. Okay. Need to replace the add neural energy, jumpstart their brains, like recold, restarting a warp re warp engine. Okay, one. Yeah, brain might be able to restart itself. Blah blah blah. Yeah, let's scan them. We have a tricorder. Wait. I want to put my Bio 106 um, to good use. Okay. Resting. Net supposed to be negative 70 millivolts. It's reading as negative 60. Potassium pump levels. Sodium ion elevated. Gates damaged. Wait. Interior neuron sodium levels. Okay. Scan for anomalous activity. Damaged by forcible ion movement, sudden change in neural voltage, predictive result, hallucination, blah blah blah. Next. 58, yeah. Elevated potassium levels, exterior. Neurons limited to 1.5 millivolts at active potential. Normal is 30 millivolts. Okay, sodium potassium ions depleted. Neurons are capable of electrical response, some of them. Yeah, sudden change in neural activity, fatigue, blurred vision, blah blah blah. I know what I need to do. Okay, I'll calibrate it. 70, 30, sodium X, I think it's, if I remember correctly, sodium external, potassium internal and in, external and internal. Yep, it worked. Yeah, this is a good chance for us to find that induction coil. Borrow an induction coil. Mind you, the borrow is in quotation marks. It's integrated here. Okay, it's working. The emitters adjusted f the uh, active scanners for the station. What do you make of the readings? Okay, image showing. It's coming from the Driffitt's comet. I already knew that. Must be realized it was a natural source of the energy, and they're using it as an easy way to sh shift it to sync with us. It's like riding behind the wake of a ship in the water. And they're in harnessing it and infusing it with chroniton particles. With that, they could have enough energy to move the entire station out of phase, maybe even the entire sector. We have to stop them, of course. Okay, comet is key. Can't do anything about the comet without a ship, and a 23rd century, century vessel is not going to be able to do the job. Okay, we have to find a way to destroy the Trivus Comet. Uh, and... We can use the subspace emitter that we hooked up to the station in order to make a temporary portal that will take us back to our time. And once we make it back, we'll report in and find a way to bring a ship back with us to destroy the comet. One second, everyone.
just so you know, we're not le leaving until we're done with this entire Spectre's chain here. Okay, let's redirect Trialic Energy to form a portal. Okay, we have another problem. We absorb too much radiation at this point. That uh, we could die. We could, um, that traveling would cause radiation poisoning. Normally, we'd use hydrolin, but our medical supplies are protected against it, so our hydrolin supplies are radiated. Uh, it is a support of, sort of problem that comes up frequently. We'll need large source doses of it to chelate out the existing radiation and protect us from the transition back through the portal. There's only one person who could get us get it for us. Yep. Thank you, Dr. McCoy. Someone else you need? Uh, I have a friend who took a little too much trial radiation. Could use some hydronolin. Uh, a friend, eh? With all the radiation flares, we're gonna have to be a little short on hydronolin ourselves, but maybe I could spare a hypo. But if your friend is getting radiation, he or she is on the station already. I'll need a double dose to chelate out a significant amount of radi- of it. You should never lie to your doctor or your bartender. That much radiation would mean you're experiencing something close to the epicenter, like fooling around with trialic waves. You don't need green blood and pointy ears to know that is a bad idea. But when the people- but when the people on the station really needed it, you came through. I appreciate that, I think I can spare a few doses, just don't let the station's captain hear about it. Thank you! Look, I'm not sure who you are, or when you're- or where you came from, but I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm just an old country doctor, but I know better than to ask too many questions about a little unexpected help. You probably shouldn't loiter around here too much longer, or people will start to ask questions. I'm going to put the, these cortical stimulators to good use, and thanks, you saved a lot of lives today. And let's return to our own time. So Driffin's Comet is the source of the triolic radiation. That explains a lot. However, we cannot simply destroy it in our time. The Davidians have the means to go back to the 23rd century and harness its energy there. However, that will be their only other chance. Before that, there's no Drosana station, so there's no place that will be close enough to the comet's trajectory to be of use to them. The only logical solution is to alter the past. Destroy the comet there, and save the Federation. As it happens, I have access to a way to transport your ship back to the 23rd century. It's risky, but I think the odds are in your favor. And if they aren't, there's always time for another try. I'll make the arrangements. Stay in touch. Drake out. Until next time. Okay, we sure the Davidians are using trialic blah blah blah. Give them out Okay. They're trying to blah. we already know this. So better be used doing what here. Okay, we go to the Beppy one one three system. Until next time. Just transwarp there. By the way, please stick around after this mission because we're going to be doing a raid. And just so you know, we're going to be raiding Mini Celeste because it's still her stream anniversary, and, well, might as well cause. Cause that rabbit some problems.
coming hails. You want me to put it on the main view screen? Yes. You should feel privileged, Wiles. Very few people have get to ever get to see the system. My organization has gone a lot, gone to a lot of trouble to keep it off the navigational charts. This star is oh, is ideal for what the what starship pilots call a slingshot. Section thirty one uses it from time to time to deal with problems that take a more creative pr approach to solve. Best chance getting back there. Liberty using. And okay, yeah. Basically, oh, gave us a helmet to look like a Klingon D7 with appropriate access codes for all the 20, um, but still have all the access to the 25th century firepower. Don't alter the timeline any more than you have to. Destroy the comets, stop the Davidians, but I, um, other than that, try to stay out of trouble. Wish you luck, but I have a feeling you, I think you think you would think I was being sincere. Okay, engage the holometer and let's do this. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. First try! Come on, load up. Thank you. Okay, based on decay of elements, yeah, we we'll probably... 2265. Hail from the Reuben James. Attention, unidentified ship. I am Commodore Jacob Ross in command of the USS Reuben James. We have been searching for a Klingon vessel reported to have attacked a colony in the Gliese system. You fit the description of the ship we are looking for. Unless you can prove you are not, we will take immediate action. Okay, closed the ro closed channel. Now responding to hails. Weapons charging. Uh, okay, f fight to disable. Ships in range, please. We need help. I don't know what these things are, but they're all over the station. They're killing people. Please, you have to help us. Okay, comments approaching the station trial are good, just make them easier for the manifest. People on the station don't have a way to fight them. We have to help or they all die. Yep, I agree. Let's get down there. Come on, load up. Load up. Okay, Captain, we're reading multiple defeating life signs. We'll need to work quickly to clear the station of their presence. I agree.
Okay, come on. Get get gone. Okay, don't think anyone appears to appreciate the party being crashed. I agree. Let's just stun everyone that's humanoid. up. I'm glad I got elect got th got those lightning balls. Uh, oh, they were following here. Stop. I'll save this for later. For the next one. Not this one, the next one after this. Some of my customers in there with them. The door is barricaded, but a few hits with a phaser should take care of that. Get my people out of there! Of course. Go. Hey, it's Scotty! Thanks for the help, friend. What were those things? Uh, that spirit snuck up on me. I noticed a spike in triadic energy, and I was working to adjust the station's shields to compensate. I went to fetch a hyperspeller, and I was attacked! If you help me, I can finish my repairs before the triadic energy reaches lethal levels. By the way, you can call me Scotty. Alright, you go... Okay. Oh, must have lo must have lost his me memory <laughs> because of those Davidians. We'll get the loot here. Now they're really interesting. Just as I suspected, the triolic energy is increasing. We'll be cooked like a haggis if we don't do something about it. There is a wee store on this station. 
The last who runs it, Cassidy, said they might be getting a supply of the new quantum flux regulators. The Mark II versions. If we had one of those regulators, I could modify the flux coordinating sensors and use them to modulate the shields protecting the station. That would buy us some time. Go find Cassidy. She'll know where they are. Okay. What were those things? They were floating, and, and one looked at me, and I, I felt so weak. And, and then it, it lifted me up, and oh, it was horrible. Oh, are you looking for something from the store? A quantum what? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just too scared right now to think about selling anything. I'm closing down until I get me wits about me. Maybe it would be best if I packed up and went back to Sherman's planet. I oh. don't know. What can I do to help? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a nerve tonic would soothe me. A nice stiff one, you know. Can you get one for me? Sure. Yeah. What can I get you? Nerve tonic. Oh, nerve tonic? Almost every culture in the galaxy has. Okay, yeah. Uh... Tell you what. One of the waitresses should be able to help you narrow down what kind of nerve tonic. Okay, uh... What can I get you? A nerve... Uh... Let's talk to Cassidy. Do you have a drink for... Did you drink from the bar? No, I'll... I'll ask Scotty. After asking you. Who do you think you are? First, the lights go all straight. Okay, nerve tonic. Again, I'll ask Scotty then. Did you get the quantum flux regulator? Uh, do you know anything about nerve tonics? Nerve tonics? Ah, you don't look like you need one of those. It's for Cassidy. We oh, for Cassidy. Now that makes sense. She's a bonny lass, that Cassidy. And more than willing to spend a little time with the right Starfleet officer, if you know what I mean. But she hasn't got the stomach for fighting. Is she alright? I hate for anything to happen to her. She's shaken up, but she'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Sounds like she needs something to take a wee bit of the edge off. And that happens to be one of my specialties, along with transwarp transporter technology and warp field mechanics. Cassidy's been meeting me every evening in the bar for a spot of cheer, but I've never seen her order a nerve tonic. Perhaps if I told you what she likes, you'll be able to figure out the right mix. Okay, what does she like? I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. Okay, Brandy. Cassidy didn't like the salty taste of the Albion Brandy, but she really enjoyed the fact that okay, I've honey. seen Cassidy order these. The only time I saw Cassidy ordering blood wine was when she was feeling under the weather. Warm. Poor lass. Honey, I've seen warm. Cassidy order these. The lay brought Cassidy a Denevian Okay, I, 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 got, I got, got it, I got it, I got it. these drinks. Shh. Don't feel like going through the entire list here. Can I need a drink. Need more details before I can make Hot. What kind of flavor profile? Are Sweet. How strong do you want this drink Little to be? Pick me up. Would you like this drink to Stem be? Stem glass. Glass, but drop a honey. This should be all. Think this is the right one. See, if this is the correct one. Do you have a drink? Try oh. this. I love warm drinks. They're so relaxing. Okay, pleasant. Ew. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. What can I Other I one hot. To, what kind of flavor profile? Sour. Do you want pick me drink? up. How would you like this drink? Stemmed. To be and last, but certainly not. Drop a like honey. This be <sighs> okay, try this. Do you have a oh, 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 honey. There we go. Got the got the thing. Here you the go. Right tool for the right job. 
I'll just like making the adjustments, but I don't know if I've got enough time. You can't change the laws of physics. The triolic energy levels keep rising, and sensors show the blasted comet is to blame. Modulating the shields is not going to be enough. Something needs to be done about that comet if we're going to live to see the morning. Captain, the stage is safe for now, but we need to deal with the comet in orbit. The Divinians are, if the Divinians are able to harness its energy, then we'll be then they'll be able to pull most of this sector into their phase variants. Past, present, it will all be disrupted. Yeah, let's get it going. I'm surprised that we haven't been had any help from the, um from the USS Pastec or Daniels would be would be nice. But instead, what do we have to do? Do it ourselves. Thank you, Section Thirty One. Uh, come on, load up. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, this is the closest trajectory the combo will take to Trozan, and we need to destroy the combo while we still have time. Sir, a group of Klingon vessels have entered the system. Lead ship's hailing us. Putting it on screen now. Ah, a ship from the House of Duras. I am Captain Bavat, son of Warot, and leader of my house. My brother died due to Dura's treachery. I will avenge his death with the destruction of a hundred Dura ships. Prepare to die! Okay, Captain, we can't afford to change the course of history any more than they've been altered. We know that Captain Bavat survives his day. We need to attempt to disable his forces. He'll be calling re for reinforcements. We need to des destroy the comet and return to our time before we're overwhelmed. Agreed. Where is the comet? Right there. Triffin's comet. Out of here. Back to our timeline. Okay, that did captain the remaining comet debris is too small to be a threat. Now we just find need find a way to one moment, sir. Protect the temporal a temporal anomaly. It's forming inside the Scarlet. If you are receiving this message, then you and your crew have completed your mission. Driffin's Comet is destroyed, and the Davidians are no longer a threat to the Federation. You've done well. And, to prove that I'm not the immoral monster that some make me out to be, I'm going to help you. When you last docked at Deep Space K-7, I had some modifications made to your vessel. 
One of those is the addition of a Borg temporal node salvaged from a cube in the Batron cluster. It's set to return you to our time. Congratulations on a job well done. Drake out. Well, at least we weren't stranded in the past. I hate to have to hit for right with a pistock. <laughs> Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The disappearance of Driffin's Comet in the 23rd century will be a scientific curiosity. I have taken steps to suppress information that might reveal our involvement, and I trust that you and your crew will refrain from telling stories about what happened here. After all, we're getting along so well. One thing I hope you'll take away from all this is that any opinion you may have of the immorality of so-called rogue elements like Section 31 is a bit naive. Contrary to popular opinion among some Starfleet officers, we do not spend our days plotting evil and committing random acts of villainy like characters in a bad hollow novel. We protect the Federation from threats. Thanks to you, the Davidians are no longer on that list. If you think about it, everything we do is to preserve the freedoms you so enjoy. You should be grateful. Drake out. Until next time. Okay, well, that's done. And this is the end of the stream tonight. Well, I thank you all for tuning in. If you like what you're watching, please hit that heart icon down below. This is my usual schedule. Oh, come on. Thank you. So I'll make we're online on Fridays, Baltic Advanced Universe on Mondays, in game my choosing on Tuesdays. All streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is my Twitter account. I post whenever I go live there and whatever floats around in my fluffy fluffy mind like a fluffy wolf. <laughs> and this is my Discord server. Join to hang out in and see whenever I go live there as well. So I'll make sure to please stick around because we're gonna be doing a raid. We're raiding Mini Celeste. She is on day three of her of her anniver of her sixth sixth anniversary subathon. And she's right now playing satisfactory. Alright. Again, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there, everyone. Good night.